So, Terry, which one do you think will be the biggest factor for the Mets in 2023? Well, gosh, I, I, I probably, as we sit here right now, I would say the one guy that may have that biggest impact is going to be Alvarez. You know, he plays a position that it's really hard to find a, a quality catcher. Obviously, the bat, everybody says, is going to play. We don't know what we're going to get. You know, we know what kind of catcher Nito is and not, not base. But, you know, I, I think when you look at Francisco, if he gets off to a good start, and I, again, I still think these guys need to start in AAA, that lineup, you, you, you know what you're going to get from the veteran guys. They're ready to come out of the gate. And you can, you know, a, a rookie can come out of the gate fast and all of a sudden, you know, hit rock bottom when the, 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 in the big leagues they know how to figure out. So I think if, if they get off to big starts in the minor leagues, I think any of those guys can come up and certainly make an impact. Terry, I'd be in agreement with you on Alvarez uh, making the biggest thing, impact, except for this part here. I don't think he's ready to catch in the major leagues yet, and I wonder if the Mets are willing to commit to him being on the major league roster at some point during the season as simply a right-handed DH. That seems to me like a, a real waste of development time. Uh, look, I know the Mets need slugging. They failed to get the, the guy uh, on the roster this winter who can hit the ball over the fence, and this guy, you, you see him sitting in the minor leagues, and you go, hey, you know, this guy can hit the ball a long way. But, look, if he's going to maximize his value as a player and as a prospect, he's got to be, to me, he's got to be a catcher. That's why I think Brett Beatty is going to have the biggest impact on the major league team this year because I think there's a path for him to have a real role on the big league squad, whether it's as a part-time left fielder, getting some reps at third base, maybe a little left-handed DH, more of an injury replacement than Alvarez could possibly be. So that's why I'm picking him. Uh, I can 100% under, understand your point, but I feel like some of the things with Francisco Al Alvarez are absolutely fixable. Uh, he's already down there in spring training. He's working with Nomar Narvaez. And, uh, you know, one of the biggest issues with him was framing, which is something I feel like can be taught. When you look at his arm strength, he has that ability. He has that ability to throw pl uh, players out, even despite his huge size. You add to that the pop in his bat. You know, the Mets really haven't had that sort of production out of the catcher's position, his potential, since a Piazza or a Leduca. Uh, you know, people were a little bit worried last year when he went to triple a and he kind of like he petered out a little bit but then it turned out that he was injured and once he got you know his ankle got fixed up a little bit we saw that those power numbers continuing to rise and rise and rise and that just tells me that he is an adaptable player uh, i'm really interested in him people are raving about his baseball iq which is obviously hugely important for a catcher i, th I think he can get there